The Department of Performing Arts recently introduced a new production to the Masters community known as Polyglot, the talent show with only one rule. No al inglés. Kind English. Sin inglés. No inglés. Pardon glay. Pardon glay. That's right, no English. On the evening of September 30th, the upper school community gathered in the experimental theater to watch a talent show where all the acts were performed in foreign languages. The show included songs, dances, speeches, poems, and even a performance done entirely in Morse code. Upper school theater teacher Meg O'Connor brought the show to masters after accumulating student and faculty interest. Most of the students that I know that I work with in the theater have another language or are learning another language or are interested in cultures besides their own. And I just thought that that would make this a great place to share what we know and, and our other experiences. From father-daughter duets to foreign language classes performing the Greek alphabet, the production showcased over 20 acts in 10 languages, featuring Spanish, Mandarin, French, Thai, Portuguese, Hebrew, Greek, Ukrainian, and Hindi. It took students and DOPA faculty roughly one month to turn the idea of a multilingual talent show into reality. After a two-hour show, students reflected on Masters' first polyglot. My favorite thing about this whole experience was just being a part of it, like being a part of the hosting experience, being a part of like tech, and just seeing all the performances come together. And like, and it was just amazing be, having it student-led. It was just such a fun experience, an enjoyable experience, I think for everyone. The night was really, really fun. It was amazing to see all the different languages and all the diversity. Um, there were some that were taught in school and like some songs and so many different forms of creativity. Um, there was one that was Morse code, so everyone was silent, and we were able to communicate through body language, and it made me realize that you don't need to speak the same language in order to get along with other people. You know, this is a first-time event, so we had no idea how many people we were gonna, who were, we were going to come. You know, we were just blown away. We had 23 acts, which was, we couldn't, we didn't know if we were going to have 50 or 6, so 23 was absolutely perfect. Um, everyone loved it. People were singing along and clapping. We had, like, um, phone flashlights going back and forth during some of the songs. It was just utterly incredible. With its first success, Polyglot is on track to become an annual tradition for years to come. I really hope that we can do this every single year. I think we'll, the more we do it, we'll discover that there are different acts, different languages, different surprises, um, but I think it's something that the students will really look forward to, and I know that I will definitely look forward to it. Carol K. Ross and Hannah Skijano, TVN, The Master's School.